Hello again, Nick Fenton back, uh, founder of TickerTank.com. We're doing our Naked Put Entry Criteria series here. This is part two of seven, and today we're going to discuss what are eligible candidates if you have a smart, small portfolio, and what are eligible candidates if you have a large portfolio. So part one, we discussed liquidity and the preference of diversified underlying. Part two, we're discussing what I just mentioned. <clears throat> I'm using paper money account here. I haven't logged into this in forever, but um, for ob for reasons that will be obvious here momentarily, uh, I'm using the, the paper money account so that it doesn't expose how much I have in my trading account because I really just don't want to put that on the internet. Um, anyway, today, so if you have a small portfolio, it's going to limit what you can do with as far as naked put strategy goes. If you have a large portfolio, of course you can do whatever. Um, so small portfolio, you want to stick with lower priced underlyings or lower priced stocks. You know, underlyings is just another word for stock or ETF or ETN. So whatever the options that you're using, let's say we're using SPY options. SPY is the underlying. We're using SPY options. SPY is the underlying. So back to the uh, back, back to the topic at hand. Small portfolio, you want to focus on small stocks. So in part one, I'd mentioned that I'd recently sold and covered BBRY uh, options, naked puts, for a profit. So let's take a look at BBRY. And we'll just take a look at May. Currently, it's trading at 15 bucks. Let's just, for since we haven't gotten too deep into this, and we're not really going to analyze this in full and figure out which strike is the best to sell, let's just go one strike out of the money and look at the 14 strike. So we want to click on the put side and we want to click on the bid. So left clicking on the bid here brings up the order down here where it says single sell 10 BBRY. I'm going to change this to one just to simplify things. So selling one BBRY May 13 14 strike put 89 cent limit and we've got it in a day you can change that to GTC if you want to work the order for a few days. But for now, we'll just keep it in this day. So, the reason if you have a small portfolio, you want to sell lower priced stock e or puts is because of the buying power effect it will have. And this is assuming you're using a regular stock account versus an IRA account. So right here, we're looking at a regular margin stock account. If you hit the confirm and send button, what will pop up here is it will show you again what the order description is, your break-even stock price. So the break-even in this case would be 1311. That's your cost basis if the stock is put to you. Max profit is your $89 since we're only doing one contract here. So you keep the entire credit of 89 cents times 100 since you have 100 shares per contract, which equates to $89 of profit if you let this expire worthless. Max loss not including possible dividend risk is the 1311 so one contract you just look at the break even cost basis price of 1311 multiply that by 100 to get your 1311 dollar max loss if the stock were to go to zero by may expiration so in 44 days if, if blackberry or research emotions worth nothing which is highly improbable um, of course then your max loss is 1311 dollars Cost of trading is just kind of showing you what your cost of trade is. Uh, so it shows you what your commission would be. So your actual credit, max credit is 83.40 once you take commissions into equation in the event you let this expire worthless and don't get another commission for exiting the trade. Now the main thing we want to pay attention to here in this case is the buying power effect. So your buying power effect is $199.70. So for every contract you sell, it's going to deduct $199.70 of capital from your buying power, from your account. So we'll just say 200 for simplicity purposes. So if you were to sell 200 or 10 of these, then of course that would be $2,000 deducted from your buying power. And if you switch this, let me close this out, and we'll, we'll go to say something like Apple which is a very high price stock, 433 is the current price. We'll go to May. We'll um, 
we'll just sell the uh, four 15s. We'll get 15 points, you know, 18 points out of the money here. Selling the 14s, we'll reduce it to one contract again, and we'll hit that confirm and send button. And what you can see down here on this buying power effect is the buying power effect is $6,856.90. So if you have a small portfolio, say $10,000, selling one Apple naked put isn't going to make a whole lot of sense. It's going to eat up 60, you know, 70 percent of your portfolio capital to do that one contract, whereas the BBRY would only eat up $200 of your capital. This eats up 60. Nine hundred dollars worth of your capital for one contract. If you have a large portfolio, say a few million bucks, of course you can sell several of these Apple puts, and it's not going to, you know, have a huge impact from a percentage perspective. Personally, I tend to allocate about five percent of my portfolio, anywhere between three and five percent of my portfolio uh, buying power effect to any given naked put position. And so basically, I would say, in this case, let's just use ten thousand dollars as from a simplicity purpose. Of course, if I had a ten thousand dollar portfolio, this would reflect around sixty eight and a half percent of my portfolio allocation in one contract. Uh, I wouldn't want to do that if my criteria is three to five percent portfolio allocation per naked put strategy. So um, you know, whereas if it was the BBRY situation, two hundred dollars would represent what two percent of the uh, overall portfolio allocation. So I could maybe sell two contracts of BBRY, and that would represent four percent, which stays in my three to five percent portfolio allocation um, requirements or criteria, I should say. So again, small. Portfolio size, you want to stay with smaller priced stocks that don't eat up as much buying power effect. And you want to keep in mind your portfolio allocation. How much capital do you want to expose? Uh, in my case, 3 to 5% is what I typically do. You decide what's comfortable for you. And that's that. Now, one last note here is if you have an IRA, let's go back to that BBRY example. If you're trading naked puts in an IRA account, we'll go right back to the same one, and it's gone down to 87 cents now. We already made two bucks if we would have sold it at 89. <laughs> so you can see the buying power effect on the margin account. Oops, let me change this back to one. The buying power effect is 194.10 if we sell one in a margin stock account. If we change this to the IRA, you can see that buying power effect reflects your max loss. They don't give you the same buying power effect treatment when you're trading naked puts in an IRA that they do when you're trading naked puts in a regular stock account or, or a margin stock account. Uh, so just keep that in the back of your mind. If selling naked puts, you're going to get put to your um, your buying power effect if you're doing an IRA is going to be the same as your max loss so it's more optimal to do it in a regular trading account that concludes part two we'll see you soon part three